Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create With D. Today I have a super easy little gift for you. It's a covered notepad. And they're just quick and easy and great for gift giving. Let's get started making this cute project. You really only need four items to make these. You need some designer series paper, liquid glue, tear and tape, and I found these mini writing tablets at the Dollar Tree. You get five of them in a pack for a dollar. I'm using your A Peach Designer Series Paper by Stampin' Up. The designer series paper needs to be cut at three and a half by 12. And we need two pieces of designer paper to cover the inside of the pad for at three and a half by five or almost five. We'll wanna just take Cut it. I cut it at five and then just cut a sliver off and we'll see why a little later on. The pads come five in a pack and what I like to do is deconstruct them just a little bit. Um, we do wanna cover on either side so that we can cover it with paper easily. What I like to do is go ahead and take two of them so that they already have the chipboard on it that comes with the pad. So on this one here, this one doesn't have any, but we can show you how to add that later on. So stay with me at the end and I'll show you how to um, add covers on your own. And so on one of the pads of five, you can easily get two of them that are already ready to go. So the easiest way I found is to take your 12 inch strip and your pad, and we just wanna find the center of it. I just kind of put it like this. It doesn't have to be exact, everybody. Don't get all um, like stressed out about trying to find the center because we won't need um, to know exactly that because we're going to tuck in the tails. What I'm doing is I'm just kind of getting an approximate place there where you can kind of see, I kind of just finger press that a little bit. Oops. And this is what I've learned. Like once you get that spot, straighten up your, your paper here and then take your bone folder and give it a nice crisp edge. And we're going to open that up and I'm going to put some tear and tape on top of that score line there. And I do like tear and tape better than perhaps liquid glue here. It's gonna kind of mimic that glue binding that are already on the notepads. Now we're gonna take our notepad and just make sure that you do have the binding side up and not um, accidentally put the loose end there. And we're going to just go ahead and match it up with where that tear and tape is, making sure that our designer series paper looks like it's matching on there. And then we're just gonna wrap this around. And you can take your bone folder or your finger and just get a nice contact on that. Next, we'll take some liquid glue and we're going to glue down the designer paper for the cover. So I have a light touch that I'm squeezing and just kind of make sure that the paper is covering that front of the chipboard. And then again, take your bone folder for a nice contact, flip it over, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Now we can flip this over and um, we're going to tuck in this extra. And you might say, well, gosh, D, maybe I didn't need such a, I didn't need a whole 12 inches. And you know, that is probably true. Um, I like to use the whole 12 inches of the paper because um, I'll show you how nice and finished this looks at the end. But if you did have a scrap piece of designer paper that wasn't quite 12, you have a little wiggle room on that. All right, so that's just as easy as what it is to make a covered notepad. But what I liked is um, to go ahead and use some more designer paper and really finish the inside of it. And it just, I think, makes it look that much nicer. And so this is where we're going to take 
the two pieces of um, three and a half by almost five. And as you can see, this is the flip side of it. And this is why I chose the blue pad because when they open it up, you have the blue in there. So we're going to go ahead and add liquid glue to the inside of it, just like we did on the outside. And for some reason, I was I tend not to go all the way up to the top of this. I don't want to get on the designer paper for some reason, but we do. We do need to have some glue up there. And you just choose which side. I like to have an accent paper on the inside. And I'll put this up here. And the reason why it's almost five is I found when I went clear down to five, it interfered with closing it. So I just had a smidgen less than five inches. Look how nice and finished that looks on the top now. And if you want, you can bone folder it. And I'll go ahead and do the back side as well. So that's it. That is how easy it is to make these cute, inexpensive notebooks for all sorts of different things. Um, I continued to use Sweet as a Peach um, theme on these and look how cute and pretty these are ready to go as gifts or just to enjoy this this summer in this cute palette that they have just to kind of show you some more of the insides here real quickly so again just mixing and matching the paper that's on that particular um, designer series paper packs um, let me show you some other things um, at the time of the video the um, the holiday mini from Stampin' Up! is about ready to come out, as well as Celebration. So here I use some combination of um, uh, things that are coming in um, the upcoming catalogs and Celebration paper and then some of the other bundles. But as you can see, these would make awesome and cute little winter gifts and craft fair items um, to sell for just pennies. And um, what I also thought would be kind of pretty is if you wanted to gift the notepads, you could do like a three pack here, put it in a cello bag, tie some pretty ribbon on it and actually give three pads at a time for it. Okay, now I promised you that we would look at how to put the, um, the backing on some of these other ones that we tore off. So if you'd like to stay and keep watching, um, we'll do that here next. What I did is I cut two backings. Now these are from the back of the designer series paper. Always comes with these little, um, you know, backings for support of the paper or even chipboard. So you can either cut down some chipboard that you either have on hand or you could buy or use and repurpose the backside of the designer series paper. And I have these cut at three and a half by five. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue them directly onto the paper. And as you saw, that can happen sometimes. The top one may slide off and that's okay on that. Just kind of, that's why liquid glue is great. We can pick it up and do it again. Um, what you want to do though, because it did get a little bit offside and that's no big deal. Just grab your scissors and before you cover it, just go ahead and get this one little, um, you know, like anything that's outside of the chipboard or not the chipboard, but the, you know, the backing. Just go ahead and trim all of that up and it'll make it so much easier. And now you're ready to go with the same procedure that we just did for this. Wrap it around and just maybe take an extra second and make sure that that contact on the top is really good. But now you can get all five of the mini writing tablets and have a backing for it. So whether you use these cute little mini notebooks for um, gifts like teacher gifts, Christmas gifts, thank you gifts, um, or just to have in your purse as a pretty notepad. Um, I hope you enjoy making these and that you have a great day. Thanks for watching everybody and happy crafting. Bye-bye.